Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to EU4 as Zoroastria. We're in a bit of a different spot than when we last left off where we had just had some success conquering stuff over here and I started a war of the hedge as which was actually probably a bad idea because I also stupidly decided to wait out the last of Tiberistan's vassalage by making them uh or enabling scootage so they're not actually even involved in helping me win this war in fact also their army is stuck all the way over here which sucks <laughs> quite frankly can I get military access to bring them home oh good I could all right uh would okay they would not Delhi would not okay so they're they're stuck here effectively until I next declare war on Gujarat. Unless the game is kind enough to when I annex them, uh, black flag these guys, even for a moment, so I can get them out of here. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, effectively, I am pretty grossly outnumbered here. And that puts me in a pretty rough spot, as you might imagine. Not too rough, but rough enough that I'm not overly happy with... How life is turning out. But, you know, those are my choices that I made, so I made my bed and I have to sleep in it now. Uh, specifically, I should probably try to kill these guys. So let's actually do that right now. If we can and don't get murdered by the Hedgehaz. Yeah, look, there's the Hedgehaz over there. All right. Key strategy in any war is divide and conquer. So these guys are running away. Uh, we probably want to get Hasa out of the war immediately, if we can. Uh, all right, we're killing... Oman over here. Good for us. Where's their... Please tell me their capital is... God damn it. Their capital is on... Ugh. I don't have a navy. Which means I actually can't take anything from the Hasa in this war, apparently. Well, that's unfortunate. I thought you couldn't block someone from crossing a strait unless you owned both sides. And they definitely don't own both sides of that strait. Oh well. Don't question it, just uh, keep on moving. Also, fortunately, you know what, let's let these guys almost siege out the fort, and then we'll come in and kill them at the last second and get our own victory. Alright, so we'll siege out most of Hassa, so at the very least we can piece them out of the war. If I'm really crazy, I suppose I could also vassalize them. Yeah, that, that would be a silly, a silly, silly idea. Where are you going? Yabrin, huh? Alright. I'll go ahead and crush you. Alright, there we go. Kill them. My big goal is just to get at least one of the players out of here. Protestant League, you say. Good for them. Alright, we've wiped them out. Please don't go there. They're probably gonna go somewhere else. Alright. Uh, getting Oman out of the war would also probably be a good idea. But I'm not going to immediately try doing that. I'm going to mostly just focus on winning the war, which we're sort of doing right now. Also, uh, let's bring this guy home. And by home, I mean to join the war effort. All right, good. Oh, please don't get caught up in that. All right. I am relatively confident that we can beat these guys. El Arid. El Arid. All right, crush, kill, destroy. We have crush, killed, and destroyed. Very good. We can convert more people to the one true faith, which is, generally speaking, a good idea. And how are you doing? All right, they're up to 0%, so let's just wander over here so we're in the right position to do something about them. And the Ottomans are paying off the foreign debts of Scotland. Good for them. Right. Can I just piece you out, Hasa? I mean, surely, no? 45%? Alright, so length of war. A uh, stupid length of war penalty. I mean, I know why that was introduced. It was because, oh, it was, it was like over a year ago now. Like way, way back in the olden days, there was a time where that modifier didn't exist, and it was mostly done to slow down players lobbing out. Most, like, or just, like, virtually all 
update. Oh, look, see, we instantly got that fort basically as a result of that. And we'll save this until we can adopt the next institution. We probably want to save those points anyway. And we might want extra Diplo relations, for instance. And extra siege ability. And also this as well, which means even less culture conversion, extra morale of armies, all that good stuff. All right. So we are now ever so slightly stronger than we were just a minute ago. And if I can get rid of the Hossa, then at least that's one person out of this war. Because their capital is here, I won't be able to take any land from them. Well, actually, if I peace out, peace them out with uh, the head jazz, then I will be able to, but that is besides the point. I and mean, we're going to have to keep this war going for a while anyway, because that whole uh, length of war modifier. Sometimes I hate that. I almost wish that there was a mechanic so that if you were... Also, I have this open. If, uh, if you were, like, completely dominating a war, then you would be able to... Like, that modifier would just go away. Of course, I think if you have 100% war score, it goes away anyway, so that's... Oh, good. And we finished uh, annexing our vassal here. Why were you even out? Get out! Get out! Run, ship, run! Okay, good. Stuff is happening over there. You didn't... Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, I have access for some inexplicable reason. So I'm, uh... Actually, just cut, cut your way over there as fast as you can. Alright, good. I'll keep this fort. I'm losing money. Why am I losing so much money? It's not entirely reinforcement fees. It's probably all these extra forts, to be honest with you. So let's get rid of them. Uh, beautiful Swedish folk music. Exactly the soundtrack this game needs right now. Anyway, let's uh, get rid of all these forts. And I think we're at a point where I'm not... I'm not exactly afraid of getting completely crushed by my neighbors, so the number of forts we have is excessive. I'm going to hold this here for now, just so we can do stuff with that. Uh, probably I should keep some of these forts. I'm going to keep the capital fort. I'll get rid of this fort as well. Because I'm not, I'm not really scared of the Ottomans anymore. I mean, I'm kind of scared of the Ottomans, but I'm not that scared of the Ottomans. If that makes any sense at all. Ah, here's the beginnings of a war fleet. Excellent. Uh, you ought to get rid of... Now, I'll hold on to this, because our Indian border is going to be probably the most contentious. And we're making money again. Excellent. I love making money. Money is what makes the world go round, after all. Alright. Those guys are doing stuff. We're doing stuff. Let's see. Sue for peace. Yeah, see, I can't... Oh, I could actually take land. But you know what? I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to take all their money and some war reps. Maybe give up your claims? No. Alright, so that's at least a couple people out of the war that I don't have to worry about anymore. You guys can go there. We have another 20 stack that's inbound and will protect us by the by. And we're doing good. We're doing good. Excellent. We're also trading in silk, so we can promote an additional culture, if I so chose. Uh, which I suppose should probably be Persian, considering how big... Oh, you know what? Before we do anything else, let's, uh... Oh, I actually have to... Oh, yeah, because some of this... Yeah, basically everything that was in... Baristan, I'm not going to have to core again. Because they already cored it for me. And most of it is relatively valuable land, so we should ultimately end up making a profit. Like, look at that. That is some pretty good profit right there. Gulf Coast. See, that is big profit right there. And this, well, also pretty good profit, but we'll worry about that by the by. Uh, not as good profit. Anyway, basically, I think that's good enough for the time being. We'll we'll micromanage states and territories and stuff. By the by, I love. <laughs> There's just something about this music that I enjoy, but the fact that it has lyrics is also entirely, entirely distracting. 
Anyway, so far so good. They're trying to siege their stuff back. Oman is doing Oman things. Incidentally, what's going on with poor Yemen here? They're defending against Oman. Gotcha. I could ally you to defend you, I suppose. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, just kind of do that, I think. And where are you going? You are going to try sieging that back, so let's go ahead and kill you. Just to make life easier. We really just want Jabal Shamar, because that's our mission. And then after that, we can probably focus on going back into the west. I mean, a big reason why I'm even bothering with this in the first place is just because I want to deny this land to the Ottomans. More than anything else. And if I could, and if I'd been faster, I would have swooped up around here and blocked them off, but... I wasn't fast enough, so we don't get to, we don't get to do that, which is unfortunate for me, but oh well. All right, we're gonna have to give a lot of land away, most likely. I mean, we did just take a lot of land, so it makes sense we have to give a lot of it back. That to the nobility. I mean, wool is not really that valuable, so I'm not that worried about giving it up. Uh, let's see. No. That would not be worth it. Uh, that, oh, this isn't a state. Oh, that's definitely worth it. In that case, give this to, yeah, I'll give that to the clergy. Did that satisfy them yet? Almost, but not quite. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know, there's something about that. Oh boy. All right, that should satisfy the clergy. Just need... The big problem with trying to find land to give to the nobles is that there's not really a lot of land that actually is high in manpower. Which is the kind of land you'd want to give to the clergy because that's the land they can make the most use out of. Alright. Carpet sieging time. Incidentally, is that 20 stack? Did it get stuck? Temporarily got stuck, apparently. All right, there we go. You're getting in there, my friend. Also, could I hire a free general? I could, but it's probably not a good idea right now. As recruited minister. Yes, okay. All right, so you're, uh, you're doing that. I'll, I'll circle around here. Yemen would like some access. You can have that access, Yemen. You're a friend of our country. Zan joined the Catholic League, good for them. All right, overall, so far, so good. We don't really want anything. Well, I guess we might want some stuff from Oman, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Iraqi separatists. Jeez. What's going on over there? Why, why are you so angry? What did I do to you? Oh, an active missionary. All right, I'll just do that. And what else do we have going on here? A couple other provinces. Uzistan. I'll just do that to slow things down. Mostly just, that's really all I want to do is just slow things down. As best I can. Oh god, we need many, many, many more missionaries. We don't have nearly enough missionaries. Not enough, not nearly enough for me to feel comfortable. No, Hedges, we are not going to peace out. Not until I am good and ready. I'm actually almost tempted to just form another vassal over here. But that would probably be silly, so I'm not going to do that. Of course, then again, I am low in admin points right now, so... Hmm. Alright, those guys are doing some stuff over there. Oh, these guys ran away. Let's make our way back over, shall we? Alright. Life is good. And... You know what? I should be actually maybe fabricating claims over here on Gujarat. Nah, we're not going to be going to war with them anytime soon. We'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do, by the by. I mean, it's actually not going to take that long to convert everything. Just a decade or so. Well, maybe more than a decade. But it'll, it'll take a while. But not so long that I'm worried about it. Look at them run. Cowards. Leeing before my awesome might. Listen to this music. I still have no idea what it's about, but my understanding is it's some kind of uh, folk song. Also, looking at the music list here, like there are, this is going to play in order, I think. Let's turn shuffle on. 
I mean, these are nice songs and all, but uh, I don't think playing them. Oh, well. Okay, this this song is not. Uh, where is the Christmas Carol? I don't think now is the time. You know what? We'll listen to it anyway. But now is it, Christmas is well and truly beyond us, so it's not really the time or the place. Allah. Ah, good times. You know what? I'll spend some points to get another general. Oh good, they're not actually coming after me. Good. I like it when the enemy is not coming after me. That's always a good feeling. Alright, people are fabricating claims on me. I'm fabricating claims on them. We're at 74%. I'm... I'm... Oh, I should close this. I'm overall happy with how life is treating us. We have... You know, the greatest country on Earth at this point. We're gonna take Mecca, I think, from them. That'll... That'll really anger... The world. No doubt. I mean, stealing a religious holy site, that's... Probably... Just asking for trouble. Eh... Uh, Ah, we'll, we'll take Mecca another day, I guess. Hmm. 257 admin points to core all this. Eh, it's worth it. Alright, we'll wait. Actually, I could release Najd out of this, couldn't I? Does Najd have a... No, Najd still exists. Never mind. Is there anyone who doesn't exist? Shamar. Alright, I'll, I'll release Shamar. That way I can save a couple of ducats, or admin points, temporarily. Saves me some trouble, really. Also, my vassal is doing some work for me. I always love seeing my vassal do work. Uh, how are we doing, by the by, with uh, institution spread? Let's see. 78, 74, 67, 78. All right, so we're not going to be adopting institutions anytime soon, is what I'm getting from that. But that's okay. We don't need to adopt institutions right away. In fact, we can pretty... Basra. Where's Basra? Right here. We'll just sit someone on that to get rid of the rebellion risk. And then we'll just kind of sit on the head jazz until the time is right. I don't think they're going to be able to siege this from me. And we'll just focus on uh, converting all our land. Incidentally, I, I think I could actually rekindle the flames now once I... Let's see, rekindle the royal flames. I have to be at an empire rank. Kiva. Where's Kiva? Oh, Kiva has an H in it, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, who owns Kiva? Bukhara. And Bukhara is an enemy of mine who is allied with the Ottomans and Afghanistan. Alright, so basically, all I need to do is go to war for Afghanistan, take Kiva, and I'm good. Alright, that... Who are my allies again? Kazan and the Oirat. Right. And the Oirat got wrecked by... the Ming not so long ago, didn't they? How are the Ming doing? As far as I can... Oh, they have... They have negative prestige, which I think is all that's required for them to theoretically, possibly, maybe, lose the Mandate of Heaven. And I wouldn't mind that. Look at that. Look at Ming down there. Weak. I mean, I'm only... I'm only just a little bit behind the Ottomans. And I will catch up. Don't you worry about me. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will spread... Do a little bit of institution spreading of my own here. Maybe that's a bad idea. But it'll get it to spread to Tabriz faster. Tabriz, Tabriz. However I properly pronounce these words. But I repeatedly butcher. And we just lost our Master of the Mint. That's unfortunate. Nobles require more land. We will give them something at some point. Uh, do I have a really cheap piece of land that I don't mind giving them? What about you? No, not really. Uh, there's got to be a, a really cheap piece of land around here somewhere. Ah, here's a cheap piece of land. There you go. Enjoy, Mr. Nobleman. Uh, meanwhile, let us go ahead and hire... Can't hire an Inquisitor until 75, was it? That's unfortunate. But 
sometimes that's how life works out, so no point getting all bent out of shape over it, so... Oh, and we're losing money again. Why am I losing money again? Weren't we making money not that long ago? Now here we are losing it. What have I done? What have I done? And there goes our stability again. That's unfortunate. All right, let's let's uh, let's just go ahead and kill this guy. There we go. That was beautiful. Can I piece you out? No. In fact, I have negative one against you. Really? Oh, from all the blockades. I guess that makes a certain level of sense. It disappoints me, but it makes sense. All right, can I uh, just peace out? I'm I'm ready to end this whole thing. All right, good. Beautiful. We completed our mission, and you know I didn't even pay attention to see re remove Nosh from the map. Sure, why not? Actually, we'll pick this one first because if I do, in fact, just go ahead and release a vassal, then we will be fine. How many cores does Shamar have? Hopefully, not too many. Let's see if I scroll all the way down here. Shamar, Jabal, Neza, and Hafar. Far is already one of my cores, isn't it? Where's Unesa? Oh, that's Unesa. Afar, Jabal Shamar, and... Right, this is already one of my cores, but you know what? It's worth it. I'll do it. Works out good enough for me, I think. And basically, it just saves me the trouble of having to deal with them. I mean, unfortunately, I don't get the purple color anymore, but oh well. Let us give them all my land. You can be a siege person. This way I don't have to worry about paying some ducats for a while. And at the end of the day, it still, it still accomplishes my goal of creating a block against Ottoman expansion. Because sooner or later, I am convinced the Ottomans would head on down in this direction anyway, so... Better just head that off before they get a chance. Now, do I enforce religion? The answer is no. I can always convert their land later. Ta-da! Instantly completed. Protect against Bukhara, you say. They have 50,000 men. Remove who is Najd allied with. They have no allies, so you know what? That'll be a quick and painless war, plus it's already here. I just did that because they already own, or uh, the Baristan already owned pretty much all the land here, so I won't have to worry too much about the coring costs. All right, we'll remove Naj from the map. That'll be how we wrap things up. But I'm sure we could finish that before the end of this episode. Surely it won't take that long. Probably. I could intervene in a war, could I? That's not a war I care about, so we'll just go here, show superiority, and bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Excellent. Now that shouldn't take long at all. Just a couple of cannons blowing down the walls, and then we're good. And then, again, it'll be back to conquering India for us. Though, again, I notice with some dismay that we are still hemorrhaging money here, so that concerns me. And, you know what, despite what I said previously, I am just going to get rid of all these forts. All right. What do we got going on over here? All right, so I am going to have to worry about some separatists over there. But overall, I think we're we're mostly good. The uh, the empire is safe and secure. And there we go. See, we're, we're making money again. There you go. Just get rid of all those unnecessary and, quite frankly, disastrous uh, forts. I mean, that's my problem with forts in the game. They're really just not worth your trouble because they, they're just so bloody expensive. At least to me. I mean, they're not, they're not worthless. That, that's a bit of an overstatement, but I, I find in general, except really early in the game, if you're playing as a small country, you generally don't need forts. And even if you're a small country, you can generally get away with it if uh, you're not surrounded by really powerful enemies. Like, forts are ultimately just a delaying tactic. They just prolong wars. 
And at the end of the day, I don't really care about prolonging wars. I care mostly about progress. What is this? Bohemia, 100%, sure, why not? Assuming I can actually get this to 100. Yeah, I could probably do that. Get some free points and stuff. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. So when we come back next time, we'll probably babysit Shamar a little bit. And then we'll go attack Afghanistan and try to take the last province we need in order to uh, rekindle the royal flames and generally be awesome. And then after that, the only thing left to do will be to conquer India. But until then, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it, or maybe leave a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And until the next time, I will see you all in the next video.